One really common way I see people trying to learn pistols is with the box squat or box pistol. And it actually is a really good tool, but often it gets used just a little bit off. A lot of times people will drop down, fall into the box, lunge forward with momentum to come back up. So if it's a pistol, it doesn't look any different. They fall down and lunge forward to get back up. And it feels like you're doing a lot of work, but you're missing a lot of range of motion. Wherever you are in that squat that you have to use momentum to get past, you don't own that at all. And so if you go to do a real pistol, you might own the top, you might own the bottom, you've got a gap in there somewhere that you aren't gonna be able to get over. Easiest way to fix that is still using the box, it's a really good one. Squat down till you just touch it. You can wiggle a little bit. You're not actually putting any weight on it, but you're just touching the box and then back up. Same thing with your pistol. Nice and tall, line up. This is a good one for body weight. You can do it with kettlebell as well. Squat back till you just touch it and then drive out of it. You're not missing any range of motion there. And all you have to do is get a smaller and smaller and smaller bench. Or you can start with this bench, a rolled up towel, unroll it. Same thing on the other side. Squat down till you just touch the bench and then back up. You're gonna own your pistol that way. That counterbalance can help too. Try that. Don't yield the gravity and throw yourself forward. Own it the whole time. Good luck.